I actually envy girls that have a lower body count. I was crazy and it's like when I was much younger and I did wild out there shit. All right, folks, it's always the same pattern. It's always when they get older, when they hit the wall, that they start coming back to their senses. Here we get a retired three or four, a retired sex worker trying to warn younger women about the consequences of sex work, only fans and the whole phase and promiscuity and all these things. But do I really think that she's genuine? I don't think so, guys. I just think it's because she got priced out of the market. She got kicked out of the market by the competition. Now she came back to her senses. But if she really could keep thriving in the markets, she wouldn't have even stopped. She wouldn't have been here talking about how no people need to stop being promiscuous and warning all these younger women. All right, guys, let's hear what she has to say anyways. I don't, I'm not into the whole like body count culture and like the whole thing about like, you know, it's, it doesn't matter. I'm just being sexually free and like all that shit. Like I've kind of like lived through that and it's not, I actually envy girls that have a lower body count. Damn, do you really? I mean, it's always like that, man. I'm pretty sure that when she was younger, people were warning her about the consequences of her actions in the future and she didn't care. I'm pretty sure she was like, leave me alone. I'm living my best life. You're just hating on me. You know, I have to go through my whole phase and stuff like that. It's always like that. And then when they get older, when they hit the wall, that's when they come back to their senses. And you can even tell that, like, if you watch the whole show, the younger women that were there listening to her, they don't care, bro. They still want to explore, you know, like, no matter how much you want them, they don't take any advice. They have to experience it themselves. And then, when they can't do it no more, now they're like, oh, have mercy on me. They're trying to find Captain Superman, Captain America to come save them and stuff like that. It's not worth it, guys. Because I went through, like, my wild times and I'm like, mm. Like, I was crazy and it's like when I was much younger and I was making real bad decisions. Yeah, yeah, she was crazy. She was making bad decisions and she didn't care about any advice because she felt like she was on top of the world. Like her shit doesn't stink. That's how she felt like. But I've changed my life around, so I'm not, you know, mm. but I am. It's too late. It's too late. Why do they always change their lives around when it becomes too late, when they hit the wall? When they are out of their primes, when they can't offer a man their prime, their peak beauty, their youth. Why is it always when they are expired? When they expire, that's when they're like, oh, now oh, I changed my life around. I want to be a good woman. I want to be a wife. Somebody come wife me up. That's a ripoff. To the men that's gonna marry women like this, you're getting a ripoff, bro. All for like I did wild out there shit. I <laughs> girls who are like empowered by being on OnlyFans. It's like guys are only sitting there in their fever pitch, you know, like right there in that moment. And then what happens? They come and they close the fucking thing and they walk away. Like that's all the power you have the power for that. Mm -hmm. Like it's mm -hmm. they're they're not that's not wifey material. Like what you mm -hmm. were saying. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you get the point, you get the point. You can go and watch the whole interview, but guys, it's just a mess, man. It's a mess. These people don't want to change. They're not going to change no matter how much you want them. They already have their minds made up. They already have been programmed to go through the whole phase, to go through the recklessness, you know? They have to be wicked. And then once they can't benefit from that wickedness anymore, that's when... They come to their senses. They're like, oh, I can't do this no more. So let's do what's more beneficial for us now. Uh, okay, maybe right now getting a man is more beneficial. This way I can get some uh, financial security. I can get some emotional security. So yeah, okay, let me go and get a man and get a husband. But is it really genuine? Nah, guys. It's because they have been sent that way. Like they have been forced to go that way because they can benefit from their sex work anymore from their whole phase anymore so these people are not genuine guys be careful with them no they're just here to use you use you and abuse you
Yes, women abuse men emotionally, mentally. They know how to play the mental game. They're strong at that, you know. All right, guys. Yeah, just uh, food for thoughts. And let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Peace.